Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to our channel. And in our previous video, we created the Oracle WebLogic servers configuration for DB adapter. And we are at the second part of that session. And today we will be creating table procedures and so a project. So let's start. I have created this uh, SOA training demo table into the database and if I query it you will be able to see that it has two rows with ID and name one is Sanjay two is Parasha and at the same time I've created a small procedure which is get name proc which takes ID as an input and returns name as an output so we will be using this only into our demo. So now we will start the development of DB adapter service. So we'll create a new project. We'll give it a name as DB adapter demo. One, we create a BP process here. So now we have a basic. Uh, structure of a service a people process which will take one input and will return the output now we want to use that input to get something from database and whatever database returns we want to return that to the calling service or the calling user so in order to do that we will be taking we will be using the database adapter so under this technology section here we have database adapter and we will be using that only here we go we can give it any name and here i have already have this connection of database if you don't have it you can click on this plus icon and give the connection string to your database and this connection will be created and here we will need to give the outbound connection pool jnda that we created in a previous session so if you have not yet seen the previous session i would highly recommend for you guys to check and then come to this particular session so we will be simply using this one and we'll click on next and here there are set of operations that we can use so if you if there is a requirement to execute a pure SQL altogether, then we will use this operation. Or if we want to use polling strategy in our DB adapter, then we will use this operation. So there are several polling strategies like logical delete, sequence, sequential table, and all. However, this is very important. So we will be doing a different POC on polling using DB adapter. But today we will be using this call a stored procedure or function. We click on next. Here we will take this procedure. So if you will notice that we have not given the data source connection yet. But because we have given the outbound connection pool which has a link of data source. So we will not be needing to give actually the data source connection into uh, our DB adapter configuration. So we'll click on OK now. Click on next, next, next and finish. We create the wire. And now we will be calling this DB adapter which will take an id and it will return the name 
so we will invoke it now we will assign the user input to this procedures input so we will give a uh, relevant name assign id input variable given by user to the input variable of this procedure and now we will assign name which will be the output from the procedure so we will be doing this now output of the procedure to the output of the service so here we go it was fairly simple if you practice it will become simpler so uh, let's just deploy this and test it and we will see how it goes We'll click on finish to deploy the service. So the service has been successfully deployed now and let's test it now. So here we have uh, DB adapter demo one. So we will be testing it now. Click on test. And now as per our database, one should return Sanjay and two should return Parashta. So let's give it one. And it returns Sanjay. Now let's give it two. and it returned for Azure. So in these two tutorials we have covered a very important and widely used concept of Oracle SOA for DB adapter. So if you guys have any questions, any queries, feel free to email us and thank you so much for watching. Take good care of yourselves. Have a nice day ahead. Bye bye.